So I just finished today reading this book, The Dietitian's Dilemma, by Michelle Hearn, who's a registered dietitian. And one of my favorite sections in the book was where she talked about how the food industry influences what dietitians are taught. So I want to read a little bit from a couple pages and then tell you what I think of it. So, the Academy of Nutrition is the governing board for all dietitians. In 1995, a detailed report for the Academy's corporate sponsors was released. Not surprisingly, it included McDonald's, PepsiCo, the Coca-Cola Company, General Mills, Kellogg's, Mars, Soyjoy, and the Sugar Association. She then poses the question, why would these ultra-processed food industries that are generating just sugary cereals or sugary soda be funding the Academy of Nutrition or the American Dietetics Association because no dietitian's ever gonna go to a patient and say, have a Coke or just have some processed sugar. It doesn't really make sense. Why would they be wasting their money? But then she clarifies. So, every year dietitians are required to take at least 75 continuing education credits. Below is an example of a continuing education credit email that I received on June 16th, 2020. You will notice that the continuing education credit is sponsored by General Mills. And you'll further notice one of the learning objectives. One of the learning objectives for this continuing education credit for dietitians is, and I quote, participants will better understand the role of packaged foods in a sustainable diet and how dietitians can better educate their patients and clients and followers on this important topic. And what she alludes to is something that is ingenious and insidious. So not only is the food industry paying into the Academy of Nutrition to influence how dietitians are educated and literally making one of their learning goals learning how to educate patients on including packaged foods in their diet, but also it pushes the agenda of the in moderation ethos. And there are mixed minds about that. But if you have a company like Coke or Pepsi or Kellogg's, whose mission it is, they have food engineers and scientists working on making food hyper palatable and literally addictive, Yes, there's such a thing as food addiction. If you combine that with influence over the institution that determines, you know, what dietitians learn, and you're teaching them, you know, packaged foods are okay and everything in moderation, you have the food industry doing this simple addition equation. Everything in moderation plus addictive foods. And what does that equal? 